Hi guys, I'm back to do a book review on When It Happens by Suzanne Colasante. Colasante. Um, this book has 300 and uh, la, 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 310 pages in it. The font is this big. And the back says, when you find something real, everything else falls into place. Seniors in high school, Sarah and Toby couldn't be more different. She is focused on getting into her first choice college. He wants to win Battle of the Bands. Sarah's other goal is to find true love. So when Dave, a popular jock, asks her out, she's thrilled. But then there's Toby. His amazing blue eyes and quirky wit always creep into her thoughts. Lucky for Sarah, one of Toby's goals is also to make her fall in love with him. Told in alternating points of view, Sarah and Toby's real connection will have everyone rooting for them from the minute they meet. Um, yeah, like it said, it's told in alternating perspectives. Um, at the beginning of the book, though, when Sarah is dating um, Dave, it's basically just her. But then once she, um, once Toby comes into the picture, then one chapter is Sarah and one chapter is Toby. So um, I believe to the fonts are different, too. Like, this is Sarah's font. Um, let me see, wait. Uh, that's Sarah's font. And then Toby's font is this. It's like bolder and it's like more stick figured, more straight up and down. Um, so that kind of helps too. Um, at the top of every chapter, it tells you the chapter number and then it'll tell you like, you know, it has titles. And this is basically a, all about love and relationships. Um, it has the focus of college on there because the kids are, are seniors and so they're trying to get into college. And Sarah's really smart and, you know, that's her main goal. Uh, her parents are divorced, so it's just her mom. But her mom doesn't pay too much attention to her. You know, she throws herself, so Sarah throws herself into school and getting into a good college. And um, when Dave asks her out, who is the, the jock, She's so excited because she never thought she would be with someone like that. And, of course, so then she says yes. Um, but then she starts to realize after they've been going out for a little while that, you know, he's not what she wants. You know, he seems very shallow to her. He goes along with the, what his friends say. Um, he doesn't seem to have a mind of his own. And uh, while she's going out with Dave, she finds out that Toby likes her. And Toby is, he's smart, but he doesn't apply himself. Um, so he doesn't do any homework, but he passes all the tests and that. So he has like a C average. Um, and he's also in a band and him and his friends are, um, getting ready to do battle of the bands, which is held at the high school every year. And, um, just not, not Sarah's type of guy. So, you know, she doesn't think about him too much, but, um, they accidentally run into each other one day. And ever since then, she can't get him off her mind, even though she's still dating Dave. And she tells herself that, you know, he's not my type and you know I'm dating someone so I shouldn't be thinking about him and um, Sarah's also still a virgin and there there is a lot of talk about sex in this book so I wouldn't suggest it for like preteens um, because there is that's a, a main focus too in the book and so uh, Dave keeps pushing Sarah to have sex and she's just not ready and finally she breaks out with him one she breaks out with him because she realizes how he is um, with him being so shallow and with him press pressuring her for sex and then of course Toby she can't stop thinking about Toby um, and so of course as soon as she breaks up with Dave then he's all like you know immature about it and everything and just whatever um, and then he drops out of the picture pretty quick there's no like retaliation or, or jealousy or you know um, anything like that on his part um, and she's got her group of friends so it's two two friends Maggie and Layla and then Toby's got his friends, Mike and Josh. Um, so, you know, one chapter, Sarah's always with her girls, and then Mike's always with his guys. Um, or it's Sarah and him together, uh, Toby together. And um, Sarah realizes that her and Toby have a lot in common, a whole lot. Like, just even just little things. Little things was the big thing. Um, and he totally gets her, totally gets her. And um, when, and Toby always knew that she was smart, and he's always liked her. And um, she asked him one day what college he was applying to or something like that. And he kind of said, you know, he, he wasn't sure yet, even though he wasn't planning on applying to any college. And after that, he realized he's got to straighten his life out, if, you know, because Sarah's not going to be with somebody that isn't uh, serious and doesn't have their priorities straight. So he um, starts doing better in school. 
he has Sarah help tutor him and he ends up pulling his grades up and just doing really well. I mean, he does it all for her because he really likes her. Well then, later on in the story, um, you know, Sarah and him still haven't had sex and then it comes down to where they're about to have sex and she all along thought that Toby was a virgin still and he confesses to her that he's not. There was one other girl and when she asks who it was, he won't tell her and so she gets really mad at him and she says that they need to, she needs space. So she takes space from him and she's just so upset because she's like, why did he lie to me, blah, blah, blah. And uh, she sits down and she seriously thinks about breaking up with him and then she realizes, you know, she makes a list of why she should stay with him and why she should break up with him. And the only thing on the breakup list that she can come up with is one thing and that's because he lied to her. And she's like, you know what? It's just, you know, it's, she has more stay with, lists on the stay with, so, um, they end up making up and everything's fine and stuff, and, um, and then at the end, everybody gets into college, you know, because that wasn't, like I said, another part, part of the book, everybody gets into college, so that's really great, and that's basically the end of the story, um, I give the story probably a three. I liked the writing, and I liked how the chapters flip-flop from one point of view to the other, perspective to the other. I really like that in books. Um, but the only thing that I didn't care for this book, and I don't know if it's because I'm older, excuse me, but um, there was, like, no conflict. There was, like, no drama um, going on in it. Like, there was no, like, family problems or there was no drug abuse or no sexual abuse not that I want that but just to have some drama to keep you pulled in you know um it was basically to me just like it was the story of you know a girl's life and I, I don't know it was just there was no pills you know it just like kind of plateaued um I read it in a day so but um yeah I think for younger kids like I said not pre-teens because there's a lot of talking sex in it of it but maybe older teens, I think this would be a cool book because it's about, you know, relationships in high school and college and all that. Um, I think they would relate better to it. So, um, yeah, so When It Happens by Suzanne Calasante. Calasante. Um, and then I got, oh, you know what? I did get one book in the mail today. Hold on. I actually went to Marshall's today. Um, me and my husband were out. We went out to lunch, and I wanted to see if they had any books on Clarence. But they're remodeling, so there wasn't anything. And then we stopped at Goodwill because we went past that way to go to the tattoo place. Um, and anyways, Goodwill didn't have anything either. So I, I don't really think I'm not meant to buy anything right now. But this came in the mail. Uh, Dreams of the Dead by Thomas Randall. And it's the Waking series. It's the first book. And this, to me, reminds me of The Ring. The girl that crawled out of the TV. How her hair is just in front of her like that. That's is really cool and I bought this book one the cover is what drew me to it and two the back of it but it's based in Japan so it's like Japan you know Japanese names and names of places in Jap Japanese you know so um, I just have to get past that but it's an American girl from what I understand that goes to Japan so um, yeah I'll review this though when I read it which who knows when that's going to be because I have other things to read but I want to thank everybody for subscribing. I now have 85 subscribers. Um, so 15 more and then somebody's going to win a book. So, woo. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Um, anything you want me to review or read or whatever, you know, just let me know. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.